Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to take you through a modern shag haircut that we focus on in Ulta Academy Elite Haircutting. This is a modern take on the shag haircut that I did on Hartley. She's five years old and I love this haircut because it's only three to five sections so we can get it done pretty quick. What do you think? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> did I mention that the haircut's fun and fast? Don't forget about incredibly easy. So stay tuned and have so much fun along with me and Hartley while we cut the modern shag. To kick this off, we're going to need a spray bottle, cutting comb, clips, and your shears. Next comes the sectioning. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to create the sectioning for this haircut. You're going to start by taking a triangular section at the front of the face that extends to the arch of the eyebrow approximately two inches back. Taking a horseshoe section, you're going to start at the parietal ridge and draw back. You're going to draw below the top of the ear with your first triangle. You're then going to continue around the parietal ridge section, dropping down with your second triangle at the corner back section. This sectioning can truly be customized based off of your guest needs. If you wanna maintain a thicker perimeter line, you could come up more shallow with those two triangles. You're gonna continue around the head in the same manner on the other side. Cuddle break. Now I'm isolating the perimeter section by placing it in braids. I like to do this so that it remains flat while cutting the top. Now you're going to take down the top and resaturate the hair you're going to cut. It's important to maintain saturation throughout the haircut for consistency. To establish a guideline, you're going to take a one inch wide section down the center of your horseshoe. You're then going to point cut to your desired length. To continue, you're gonna pick up the entire left side of your triangle section. You're then going to point cut to match the guide. To customize, I chose to go in and do a deep point cut for more texture. Repeat on the other side. I've let down all of the top layers so that you can see how the hair is laying. Underneath, we still have the perimeter sectioned out. Now I'm gonna go through and release all of the perimeter sections. Now you can go through and really customize the cut by linking the perimeter to the layers. Now for the fun part, the fringe. Split your fringe into three vertical sections, a right, a left, and a center. First, you're gonna start in the center section. I'm using zero elevation and dropping the section down to the desired length. We're keeping the length at nose level. I'm going in with a point cutting technique to remove the length. I'm then going to incorporate the side sections. I'm taking my first side and over directing to the opposite side. I'm then going to remove the length using a point cutting technique. I'm going to repeat the same method on the other side, over directing the hair to the opposite side of the face.
Then you can connect them even more by using a diagonal position to connect the center and the side sections. I'm using Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel to enhance her natural texture. Next, I'm going through with a round brush and blow drying everything away from the face in the fringe area. I'm rough drying everything with her head turned upside down. To enhance her natural texture and really give a tousled look, I'm going through with my flat iron and doing some ironing techniques for natural texture. ways that you can customize this haircut is the fringe area and also the styling. You can educate your guests how to do a wash and go version of this haircut utilizing their natural texture or go through with some really fun texturizing iron techniques. So hearts, what do you think of your new haircut? I love it. It was so pretty and I love it. <laughs> All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this super modern shag haircut today with me using Hartley as my model. We had a lot of fun. I hope that you had a lot of fun too. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.